Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm exploring some other really exciting Canva tools and this week it's going to be looking at the text to image Canva tool. So if you're interested in learning more about the text to image Canva tool, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this week we're going to be looking at text to image. I've just opened up a square Instagram page and you can see you've already got the templates here. I'm just going to move myself out of the way, make myself a little bit smaller. Yep, I think I'm going to be out of the way here. So you can see if you scroll down the left hand side bar, there are some really interesting new apps that are available on Canva. So this is the background remover, which I use a lot. Mockups I talked about last week and how we can use that. And then here we've got text to image. So let's just click on that and you can pick a different style. And basically you just describe the image that you want to create. So let's just type in children learning in the classroom and see what it comes up with. So it is now thinking the AI tool is thinking it's going to give you four options. And if you're not happy with those four options, you can actually regenerate easily. Oh, that's actually lovely. I'm just going to click on this and then see. So this is an IA generated text to image uh, tool, AI tool. Isn't that lovely? And I want to create another one. So I'm just going to create again, children learning. So this was our original one which I think is just delightful, like smiling faces. Oh, here's another one. I love this. Let me just click on this one. And I like how they're multicultural, they're diverse as well. And I like how the children are smiling, they're collaborating, they're working together. They're actually reflecting a lot of the classroom practices that we want to encourage. With this texture tool, I was experimenting around a little bit and I thought, can you create an infographic? So let's just go to infographic. For the, so this is like, in case you want to use it for the mathematics classroom, infographic on modes of transport to school. And then just click on that. And the AI is just generating. I'm going to add a page so I can keep these lovely images of children learning. And what are the images that are going to come up? Now, I've done this before. So it superficially looks really fantastic. They're JPEGs. But once you click on them, they actually talk. They actually say gobbledygook, if that makes sense. So look, it's like because it's AI generated, you can't actually. I mean, it looks like a nice image, but you can't actually edit this and it doesn't really create great infographics. So I would still say that if you're going to create an infographic, go to the infographic templates and then choose one of them and then change the words. Um, but let's look at, let's say a scenery of a mountain and let's see what it comes up with. <clears throat> so let's create another page here and it's thinking it's working. Oh, beautiful. And here's our scenery here. So that is just a very brief uh, look at the text to image tool on Canva. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope you have lots of fun with this. Uh, next week, I'll be talking about some other fun tools on Canva. And I really hope to see you next time.